All right, so here we're doing what's called transnasal sinoscopy, where you don't always have to open up the sinuses to go into the sinuses. You can actually use a minimally invasive transnasal sinus uh, sinoscopy where we're using this small endoscope and we're going through the nose and this horse you can see has a chronic infection within the sinuses where we have all this dried pus here like this and so even if this is why you don't want to just put horses on antibiotics uh, with as far as for treating a sinus infection without actually coming out with the primary diagnosis because you have to remove the primary problem. If they're on antibiotics long enough and the sinusitis has been going on long enough, even if you actually remove the bad tooth, you're still stuck with pus like this in the sinuses and you actually have to go in and remove this pus either surgically or here what we're doing, uh, we're doing before the horse moved, was we're actually going in and we're flushing it out through um, a through the the uh, endoscope, and here you can see we're trying to lavage out these big chunks of of pus here. Now we ca we came out of the sinuses because the horse moved its head, but that's okay. We're we're going to take these chunks out of the nasal passage here, so you can see how we're blasting this area and trying to dislodge all of this pus out. So this is a minimally invasive technique that's, that's really nice uh, because the recovery is faster for the horse. It, it is a little bit time consuming and, and it takes some practice for the practitioner, but it's much better for the horse and it's much better obviously for the owner. Um, and they do really well.